Hey, what's up, everybody? Hey. Welcome to Wisdom hey. Wednesdays hey. with the Warrens. We have eight keys that I want to share with you in order to make your marriage or relationship uh, very successful. Now, some of these will only count for marriage, but yes. all of these, of course, are important. Uh, love and commitment is very important when it comes down to uh, a relationship with marriage. Of course, love, the unconditional love, the agape kind of love, the love that matters, the one that can get you through a lot. And then commitment, of course, uh, struggle and challenge and frustration can happen in a relationship and you have to be committed to get through it. And sexual faithfulness. And what is that? Just what it says. And it does not matter when mad day comes that you can withhold that. You cannot. Sexual faithfulness is so, so important. It keeps a lot of outside influences out of your marriage. And I know we all are so busy, but if you get so busy, you need to put it on the schedule as a priority. And humility is important because I believe that whenever you're dealing with differences, uh, whenever you're dealing with different backgrounds, you have to be able to bend, you have to be able to compromise, and it takes humility to get that done. And patience, yeah. patience and forgiveness. We must have patience, why? Because you're gonna go through things in your relationship right. and just as God gives us chance after chance, we must too um, have patience with our spouses and forgiveness. Yeah. If you don't forgive, your heavenly father will not forgive you. It's just as simple as that. That's right, and you know, yesterday we did our marriage group and we went through all of these things and one of the things that stuck out is our next one, time. You have to be willing to spend time with each other, learn each other, understand each other. And I think one one of the things that they said yesterday is learn if the other one can handle pressure. Mm -hmm. Because when you spend time with individuals, you'll find out how they manage their own problems. Because if they can't manage their individual problems, they won't be able to manage them together. And then in a marriage, you have to spend time together. Make the time. Lives are busy, but you have to make the time. And honesty and trust. Listen, you should not be in any relationship or even looking for marriage or being in a marriage that you cannot be honest with that person. Go to them. Let them know, you know, those most intimate things you should be. You should feel safe yeah. in, in, you know, telling your spouse or that, that significant other about those most intimate things. And also trust. Yeah. Trust is so, so important. So you have to be open. It may not feel good, it may be scary, but when you're in a relationship, in a marriage, that should be the safest Need, place yeah. um, that you can open up. And then communication, of course, uh, both husband and wife, if you're dating, uh, each one of you, you have your own different language. Of course, you have, we all speak English, and of course we have different uh, dialects or different um, accents, if you would, uh, but in a marriage, you have to understand the love language, you have to understand how that person communicates, if that person is saying something without opening their mouth, their gestures, yeah. their eyes, their mood swings. And uh, if you don't understand that, and then also make communication a necessary thing, you have to communicate. Just like you grow your relationship with God, you have to make sure that you communicate honestly and you commun communicate effectively with your spouse. And selflessness. Yeah. Listen, you must be. It is a requirement. Right. If your relationship is going to work, you must be selfless. Yeah. You must always be looking, okay, what is it that, you know, if I have to give up to make this work, yeah. selfless. We, we, we must do that for relationships to work. And if I'm always giving um, to my husband, if my husband is always giving to me, then it's going to work. Yeah. So don't go in it being selfish, thinking that it's all about you because it's not. You're right. going to have to compromise yeah. a lot of times, but be selfless yeah. in giving your relationship. And giving yeah. up. Giving yeah. and giving up. Yeah. Listen, eight keys to a successful relationship or marriage. I pray you were blessed by this. This has been Wisdom Wednesdays with, with the, the Warriors. Warriors.